Welcome back, one and all, to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time there was a gunfight. Oh, yeah, and I caught this guy. Don't hurt me, please. No, oh, don't worry. They're real nice. I'm pretty sure he's lying. Whoops. <laughs> you found a little shit, did you? Yep. Just throw him again. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? Oh no, now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. Who shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on coal. Well, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. I'm a little stiff, but I'll live. I'll be fine. I didn't realize I could have just... Never mind. <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, we probably are. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> when we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. If needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. <laughs> I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. <laughs> Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found <laughs> enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving will be preferable. <laughs> well, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. I like this guy. <coughs> and that was my phone that went off. My phone's still going off. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. I have a Come fishing on. bow, this but way. I don't have a regular hunting bow. I wouldn't mind having one, I just, I just don't. Are you holding up, Charles? I have a crossbow. Okay. Apart from this hand, stupid mistake. Still bad. It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill? It ain't no Driscoll. Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. 
Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Lead the way, Charles. Been a wild few days, all right. I ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. This music is nice. It's kind of weird seeing it in 1080p on my TV screen and seeing it in 720p on my recording. But I don't know how I, if I can afford and uh, afford Let's record in 1080p. I'm scared of major lag and whatnot. I could try it for one episode, see how it works. Down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. God damn it. Hold on, hold on. There's deer been here. Recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. You see the tracks? I don't think so. Maybe not. Focus. Okay. Round the rock. There it is. There they are. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Good shot. Now it's time for another. Oh, 
That's cool as hell. Across the river. Alright, am I not gonna... You know, it'll be there when I get back. Hard to keep the damn... It's hard to keep it steady. Went back across the river, didn't I? Well, it's not a river, it's a stream. Yes, goddammit. Okay, I gotta stop boat tracking it. There it comes. Hey, buddy! I like I like the bow. I do. That's a cool. That's a cool weapon. Bows are just cool in general. Not bad, boy. Okay, boy. Yep. Gonna run you hard there, big guy. Better head back when you are. Come on, man. Let's head back. Yeah. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. 
I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> I've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck's finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. They always do, I assume. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl. She has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is yeah, it? That'd be great. Ah, freaking your issues. I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Comb, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Bears are a solitary animal. Keep your distance and you'll be fine. Usually. I say they're solitary, but they're also highly territorial. Off the trail. I don't want to fight with a bear right now. Talk that much, you me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... No, you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes, Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. For a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. Taught me to read. John, too. 
Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. That saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried Banyan to ship. The Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Some horses are like that. We should be, yeah, we're almost to the camp. That's good, that's great, even. Don't fall, don't fall. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. I only showed you a little. Oh, I could have gone my whole life without tonight. seeing that. Thanks. Tennessee Walker, apparently your name is. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. Give us a hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Go get to skin you. <laughs> <laughs> you always one with the jokes, aren't you? I like it. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They yeah, always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. I've never had venison. <coughs> Deer meat. Few days later. A few days later. There was no need to sing that. Dutch. Being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Who the hell is Cornwall? Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respects, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Ah, 
and you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur, I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. <laughs> well, Abigail. What? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. It's just but the flesh wound. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marcy. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now... Suddenly, we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Well, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! <laughs> Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Insert Get communism joke ready. here. We have a train to rob. You want this cutscene play out now in the episode? And there we go. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I rob a train. I am not a good person in this game, and I am okay with that.